fiery horse with the speed of light, a clod of dust, and a hearty high silver, the Lone Ranger. With his faithful Indian companion, Tonto, the daring and resourceful masked rider of the plains led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. Nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver. Let's go, big fellow. I'll Silver. A westbound stage clattered along the dusty trail through Lone Rock Gap. There were no passengers on that trip. The swaying coach was filled instead with heavy sacks of mail, boxes of freight, and new uncirculated currency. The guard and driver on their high seat were completely relaxed. They didn't know death was waiting just beyond the bend. They had no time to prepare for the attack. The mounted outlaws gave no warning. They struck as soon as the lumbering coach came into view. Make sure the garden driver is done for. Hey, keep cover, Steve. I climb up and have a look. I'll make it fast. I don't want to waste any more time. We have to. Yeah, we don't have to worry about the guard. He's finished. How about the driver? In just a minute. Is he dead? Complete. All right, then. Climb down from there and help me find which of the boxes has the cash. The sooner we get away from here, the better. It was late afternoon when Sheriff Carter rode up to the hitch rail and dismounted in front of his office. He was hot and tired, and not at all pleased to find Steve Delaney seated on the porch. What are you doing here, Steve? I thought you were out with one of the posse. Well, that's right, Sheriff. I was. I got in half an hour ago. Thought I'd sit here and wait for you. I don't suppose you found anything. Nope. It won't. <sighs> I don't know a blame thing more than I knew when we started out after examining the scene of the whole lip. The ground was too hard to follow any tracks. Don't let it get you down, Sheriff. No one can blame you for not finding the highwayman. Are you sure there were three men? Yeah, there seemed to be tracks of three different horses. Dead right at all, now I'm wondering about Bill Andrews. Well, what about him, Sheriff? You know he's in jail over at the flats, and I sent him there. Well, what of it? There was plenty of evidence against him, Steve. Plenty to tie him into the stage holdups we've been having. I figured Bill was to blame for him. But now, doggone it, I've got my doubts. 
This holdup was just like the others and Bill's in jail. Sheriff, I tried to tell you at the time that Bill wasn't a type to turn murderer and highwayman. I know you did, Steve. But there was plenty of circumstantial evidence against him. Yeah, enough to convince a jury. Yeah. He worked for the stage line and he knew when there'd be cash coming through. And there was other evidence. At the time, Sheriff, I thought sure you'd got the wrong man. Yeah, yeah, I know. You and Bill were close friends in spite of both being sweet on Jenny Bates. Well, I'm still Bill Andrews' friend. That's why I... Why what? Well, I... Guess I'd better not say anything. Steve, you've got something to tell me. What is it? No. No, I can't do it, Sheriff. I've got to be loyal to Bill. After all, maybe he's innocent. You said there were three men on this job. Bill couldn't have held up today's stage if he was in jail at the flats. I, um... Steve, what do you got to say? Well, I reckon you'd find out sooner or later anyway. If Bill is guilty, I reckon he should be punished. Sheriff, Bill's not in jail. <coughs> what? Not in jail? He broke out last night. Oh, great day. Steve, are you sure of that? Uh, Sheriff, you hurt my arm. How'd you know Bill got loose? Well, I went over to the flats this morning to visit him like I do every few weeks. I found out he broke out last night. Then he's the man I want. By thunder, he's got some questions to answer. Now I've got something to work on. Now I know who to look for. His girl is living with Widow Martin. The chances are Bill will try to see her. Oh, I hate to think Bill's really bad. I always figured he was all right in spite of being convicted on circumstantial evidence. Steve. Yeah? Your ranch is right next to the widow's place. And Bill knows your place real well. I'm sure he does. He's been there often enough. He might try to hide out there. Well, he might at that. And if he's turned killer, he needn't look to me for help. Good. Then I'll count on you to help me. If you see any sign of him, let me know. I huh? sure will, Sheriff. If he's found guilty of this holdup, there won't be another jail term. He'll hang. Bill Andrews waited in a small shed that had been used as a line camp at the edge of Steve Delaney's ranch. Months in jail had made him pale and sullen. His few hours of freedom as a hunted man and escaped criminal had made him as nervous and alert as an animal. When he heard the hoofbeats of approaching horses, he leaped to the dust-filmed windows. Maybe that'll be Steve. Oh, masked man. To his consternation, Bill saw a tall masked man and an Indian riding directly toward his hideout. Bill thought the masked man was someone who, like himself, was hiding from the law. He didn't know that the rider of the great white stallion was the almost legendary character known as the Lone Ranger. Oh, Silver, oh, oh easy. Oh, oh, fella. Oh, fella. That tracks near Shack. He's a big fellow. Yes, Toto. That may be where Bill Andrews is hiding. Ah, easy, Scout. There's someone there. You see face at window for a second. Fan out so he can't cover both of us at the same time. You take the rear of the shack, I'll approach the door. Oh, huh, you do it. Are you in there, Andrews? Andrews, I want to talk to you. You keep away from here. You want to peer out or I'll shoot. Without knowing what I want of you? I doubt it. Leave me alone. Go away. Now, see here. Steady, Bill. Bill. Who are you? What do you want? I want a fair deal for you. Who's that Indian who rode up with you? His name is Tonto. He brought word from town... Steve is on his way here. D Did he send you here? No. How'd you know I was here? I've been following your tracks from the time you broke out of jail last night. Steve Delaney helped you escape, didn't he? I've got nothing to say. Didn't he leave you a gun to defend yourself? If he had, you wouldn't have got here. Bill, didn't you know that there was a stage hold up this morning? But there was? I didn't think you knew it. The... Guard and the driver were killed. I didn't have anything to do with it. No, but your friend did. Who? Steve Delaney. I don't believe it. You would if you saw how the hoof marks of the horses matched the tracks of the men who took you out of jail and brought you here. The law thinks you robbed that stage. Well, I didn't, and no one can prove I did. You were found guilty of one robbery. What? This time, you'll be tried for a double murder if you're caught. Who are you, anyway? Why are you here? I came to get you. That's what I thought. 
Well, I won't be taken alive. You see? Come Get, on. Let me go. Stop Get, fighting me, you young fool. You've got to help me identify the killers. I can handle him, Toto. Bring the horses up to the door. You just think you can handle me. I've got to get you away from here before Delaney comes. Keep fighting, I'll have to knock you out. You're not going to take me. I'm sorry, Bill. No. You made that necessary. Uh, you take him on Scout? Yes, Toto. I'll toss him across Scout's back. Uh, me. me got him. Good. I'll take him to camp. I'll meet you there. Get him up, Scout. Easy, steady, big fellow. Come on, settle there. It was soon after the Lone Ranger and Tonto had carried Bill unconscious from the shack when Steve Delaney and his pal Pete arrived and drew their horses to a halt. Oh, oh, there. oh, there. oh there. Hey, what's your program, Steve? <laughs> Get off that horse, I'll tell you. Steady, boy, right. All right, now, listen. We've got to drill Bill Andrews. Without giving him a chance? Well, it's too bad, but that's how it's got to be. We'll drill him, then take him to the sheriff and say we shot him when he tried to get away. Got that straight? I don't like it, but you're the boss. When the sheriff checks up on a few things, there'll be no doubt about Bill's guilt. The law will be satisfied and we'll be in the clear. Not all the way in the clear. No? Steve, there's tracks of three horses at the scene of the robbery. Remember that? Hmm. We have to find two more critters to share the blame with Bill. Yeah. Well, we'll tend to that later. Come on. Got your gun handy? Yeah. Hey, the door is wide open. I don't see any sign of Andrews in there. If that fool's run away. He's not here. Chances are he's gone over to the Widow Martins to visit Jenny Bates. Come on, we'll look there. Steve Delaney and his sidekick were not the only ones who thought that Bill might be found visiting the girl he loved. Jenny Bates had lived with a Widow Martin ever since her arrival in the community as a school teacher. She had remained loyal to Bill despite his conviction as a highwayman. Jenny, you did leave the house last night, didn't you? I'll not answer that. But, Jenny, it's just that I have your interests at heart. I'm sure you have. Oh, and I'm so afraid that sooner or later you'll listen to that smooth-talking Steve Delaney. <laughs> he poses as a friend of your sweetheart, honey, but he's no good. He'd steal you away from Bill if he could. Well, he can't. I'll wait for Bill no matter how long he has to stay in prison. I... Oh, there's the door. Howdy, Miss Martin. Sheriff Carter. Mind if I step in for a minute? <laughs> You're already in, ain't you? <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted a few words with Miss Jenny. What is it, Sheriff? Did you hear about the stage robbery this morning? What about it? You knew Bill got out of jail last night, didn't you? How would I know that? Miss Jenny, the cash that was stolen in this robbery was new paper money, the same as was taken by Bill Andrews the last time. Bill didn't steal it. He wasn't guilty before, and he's not guilty now. As far as the last time's concerned, Bill was found guilty. You never found the stolen cash. Miss Jenny, speaking of cash, didn't Bill leave his savings with you when he went to jail? What if he did? Didn't you get word a few days ago saying you were to put Bill's cash in a secret hiding place that the two of you knew about? I... Miss Jenny, there's a few honest men in town. One of them knew about that message from Bill. He told me all about it. I've got nothing to say. Yeah. Mrs. Martin, uh, what time last night did Miss Jenny leave this house? It was... No! Oh, so you did leave. Go ahead, Mrs. Martin, answer me. Well, now, Don't let tell me. Go on, Mrs. Martin. Was it before or after 10 o'clock? It was just about 10. Then you did leave the house. You took the cash from Bill's last robbery and put it in a hiding place. It wasn't cash from a robbery. It wasn't, I tell you, it wasn't. It was the money Bill had saved. Oh, Sheriff, you've got to believe me. Bill's no thief. He never was a thief. Oh, don't look at me that way, Sheriff. Bill is on the level. Sir, so, Miss Jenny, <laughs> but you're in love with a man who's marked for a hanging. <laughs> The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
to continue our story. When Steve Delaney learned that Bill Andrews had left the shack on Steve's ranch, he decided that the escaped prisoner had gone to see his sweetheart, Jenny Bates, who lived with Widow Martin. With Pete at his side, Steve reached the Martin home. Oh, 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 oh. Say. Yeah, that's the sheriff's horse, all right enough. Yeah, and the door's wide open. I can see him in the house. Just leave your horse at ground, Hitch. I won't say anything. I won't say another word. Well, that's Jenny. Come on inside. Uh, yeah. Jenny, there's nothing to by talking No matter this. what I say, it's the wrong thing. Just a minute. Howdy, Steve. Hi there, Sheriff. You, Steve Delaney, you and that good for nothing friend of yours, you're not welcome in my uh, home. Just a minute, Mrs. Martin. Did you learn anything, Steve? Well, I reckon we did, Sheriff. I searched my place like you said and found that Bill Andrews had been hiding out in an old shack there. Where is he now? Well, he's left. But he's the one who held up the stage, all right. I found this. New folding money. Yeah, he overlooked these bills. I found them hidden in one of his discarded boots. He must have forgotten them. Why, uh, Ginger. Steve Delaney, you're lying polecat. Bill didn't rob that stage. Why are you putting the blame on him after helping him to get free? Me helping him? Well, that's a good one. You did help him. It was one of your own friends who brought me the note from Bill. Steve, did you help him break jail? Of course not, Sheriff. Joe told me he met Bill last night, and Bill asked him to deliver a message. Poor Joe was mighty upset about it when he heard about the stage robbery this morning. I told him he'd better speak to you about the note. Wait. Steve Delaney, you're the stage robber. Oh, now, Jenny. You must be. Or you wouldn't have the folded money from the robbery. Sheriff, can't you see the truth? Delaney helped Bill escape so Bill could be blamed for the robbery. Oh, it's as plain as the nose on your face. The sheriff knows better than that, Jenny. He knows I was always Bill's best friend till he turned killer. As for Steve being a thief, that's a local idea. Steve was with me and Joe all morning. Well, then the three of you were in on it. There were three robbers, all right, Jenny. But how did you know it? Why, I... Maybe Bill told you who his pals were. Why, you... Sheriff, why don't you look on the ledge just inside of Renegade Cave? Huh? Renegade Cave? You mean... How did you know about that? Bill told me. What about it, Steve? What's Renegade Cave? It's a small cave near the schoolhouse. Yeah. Just to the left of the entrance is a rock ledge a couple of feet deep where Jenny and Bill used to leave notes for one another. All right, Sheriff. Bill trusted Steve, and this is what he gets for it. A fine friend you are, Steve Delaney. I'll show you the lead, Sheriff. Get your horse and follow me. After joining Tonto in camp, the Lone Ranger had remained with Bill while the Indian returned to keep an eye on Steve Delaney. He had followed Steve and Pete to Widow Martin's house, and later had followed when the girl rode with them and the sheriff. Tonto saw the group of four bring their horses to a halt and dismount at a small cave near the schoolhouse. Jenny Bates dismounted and moved to the six-foot opening of a shallow cave. Now, here's where I put Bill's savings, just as his note told me to. If Bill hasn't gotten the money, it'll still be here. All right, stand back. I'll do the looking. Very well. Now, just reach in on the ledge just inside. I can feel it. Now I've got it. Oh, good. Now you can see that it's old money. You... Old money? Well, this doesn't look to me like old money. Brand new. Never even been folded. It's just like it came from the stage. Sheriff, that's not the cash I put there. Someone's changed Sorry, it. Sorry, Jenny. This just about clinches the case against Bill. No. <laughs> Tuttle watched from his place of concealment until the small group had broken up and ridden away. Then he leaped to the back of his horse and raced to a nearby camp where he joined the Lone Ranger and Bill Andrews, whose hands were tightly bound. When the Indian told what he had seen and heard, Bill's face was livid with fury. That dirty, scheming, double-crossing polecat! Steady, Bill. Steady, my eye. Take these ropes off. Give me a gun, I'll square things. By shooting Steve Delaney? You're doggone right. That won't help. We've got to clear your name and find the stolen money. Uh, We've got to have proof that Steve plotted against you. And proof to convict the men who committed the murders. Ah, uh, fat chance. Now, Bill, listen to me. Steve planted some of the stolen money in that cave to frame you. I heard what the Indian said. There's a lot of money that hasn't turned up. You'll do your part. I think we can find that cash. 
We may be able to do everything I said. Give me a gun. You'll not need a gun. You're going to call on Delaney unarmed as a friend. It was dusk when the Lone Ranger finished outlining his plan. Then Silver's saddle was tossed on the back of the big white stallion. While he cinched up, the masked man gave final instructions. Tonto will take you close to the Delaney Ranch. You'll walk the rest of the way. I'd walk on hot coals in my bare feet to get at Delaney. Steady there, Silver. Easy. There you are. All right. Ready, Tonto? Uh-huh. You ready? Get up there with Tonto, Bill. Right. I'm all set. On your way, then. Get him up, Scott. Easy, steady, big fella. One Silver! The mighty Silver carried the masked man through the gathering darkness at breakneck speed. Night had fallen when the Lone Ranger reined up at Widow Martin's house. Oh, sir, oh, oh, easy. The door of the house flew open. Jenny raced out with the sheriff close behind her. Get away! Get away from here, Bill! Get back here! Jenny, get back to the house! It's a trap! Run for your life! Hurry! Move and I'll shoot! Wait. Steady. You're not Bill. Thought you'd warn him, Jenny. Well, Better I... put the gun down, uh, Sheriff. He's mad. Hey, what does this mean? You're not Bill Andrews? Sheriff, yeah, we don't even look alike. Who are you? What are you doing here? But what's that mask for? I came to get you, you, Sheriff. You came to get me? Well, of all the nerve. I'll dismount and tell you why. You need to be full of... Ah, you get your hands up and keep them there. I aim to see who's behind that mask. Stop waving that gun. Don't that that does it. You, Steady. Right, Jack. I'll hold your gun for a few minutes. Now, Sheriff, listen to me. Pete and Joe were in Steve Delaney's house. The three highwaymen felt good about the success of their plan to fix the blame for the robbery on Bill. We haven't got a thing to worry about, boys. Not a thing. The sheriff will try to make Bill name his helpers. Bill can't name anyone. He'll make the sheriff mad or never. He'll suspect we framed him, but he can't prove it. Can't even prove we got him out of jail. <laughs> Who's that? Take it easy, Pete. Don't act so scared. Who's there? Steve, it's Bill. Come in. He's come back. Now keep still. Let me see if he knows anything. Bill! Steve, I had to see you. Let me in for a minute. Sure, sure thing. You know Joe and Pete. They were with me last night. Yeah, sure. Hello, boys. Hello, Hello Bill. Have you seen Jenny? I didn't dare go near the widow's house. I was afraid the law might be watching. Where have you been? I cleared out of the shack. I didn't want to be found on Steve's ranch. It'd make trouble for you, Steve. Did you make any headway toward finding the critters that committed the crime that sent you to jail? I haven't had much chance. Now, look, Steve, I hate to ask you to do any more for me, but I've got to stay in hiding until the search dies down. Sure thing. I understand, Bill. What do you need? A horse and a gun. I'll need some grub, too. I don't dare buy anything at a store. I'll fix you up. Will you? Gosh, that's swell of you. You're a real friend. You can count on Steve to fix things for you. <laughs> yes, sir, every time. Now you stay here. Joe will stay with you. Pete and I'll go out to the barn and get a horse ready. You'll find food and guns and everything else you need in the saddlebags. Great. Come on, Pete. Sit right. down. He don't suspect a thing. Why should he? All he knows is that we helped him bust out of jail. You going to let him get away? Sure, for a few minutes. Here's the barn. We'll let him start and then go after him. I like that lantern, will you, Pete? Yeah. Hey, why not shoot him right now? Ah, it'll be better to say we heard him stealing one of my horses and took after him. When he's found dead, he'll have more of the stolen cash with him. Put the light down right there and grab those saddlebags. Are you going to give more of the money away? We've got to do it. Lord, think it funny if he'd been traveling without cash. What about these saddlebags? Bring them over here. We'll fill them with food and some of the money. Then we'll saddle a horse and send Bill on his way to die. <laughs> Hold the lantern close to the floor. Got to get a board up to get the cash. Yeah, I'll set her down here. I'll have this floor board up in no time. Yeah, there we are. Don't waste any more than you have to. We already used a couple of hundred dollars planting it in boots in the cave. Oh, I wouldn't call that money wasted, Pete. You're going to give them all that? Well, I've got to make it look convincing. Here, hold it out. Leave Put the it... floor open. Huh? Andrews. You were to stay in the house. Shut up, you crook. I'm wise to you. Aiming to plant more stolen money on me, huh? Oh, so you're wise, huh? Well, that's good. It'll be a shame if you had to die without being wise. You robbed both those stages. You and Pete and Joe. You framed me for the job. Yeah, 
And now I'll do more than frame you. Get, ooh, the man at the door, Sharp. Leave that gun alone. Get him, get him, Pete. I'll get him. Hold it. Keep that gun hand frozen. I'll do more than fan you with the next shot. This is new money. This is the kind I'm supposed to have stolen. Leave it right there, Bill. Sheriff. All right, lad. I heard enough to clear you. Oh, wait, Sheriff. You can't accuse me. He hid the cash in my Save barn. It. I had two deputies along to hear all you and Pete said. Me got feller in house tied up. Good work, Toto. The masked man figured you wouldn't miss the chance to make the frame a little tighter, Steve. Looks like he was right. Yeah, I should have shot Bill when he came to the house. Yeah, Steve. You missed your chance. If you'd tried a shot then, the knife Tonto was wearing would have landed in your arm. This uh, cash will tie you up to both robberies, Delaney. That means you and your pals will face a murder charge. Not me. No, no. I, I, I didn't shoot those stage men. Joe and Steve done the shoot. Save that for the judge and jury. All three of you are slated to hang. That's for you, Bill. I... I have to go back to jail? Well, only till the formalities are taken care of. You won't be there more than a few days, and then you'll be in the clear. But uh, I uh, won't be able to take you back until I've thrown these killers in the calaboose. Uh, maybe uh, you have time to see Jenny. Uh, doggone, <laughs> Sheriff. <laughs> I sure want to thank uh, you. No, thank the man who really saved you. Thank the Lone Ranger. This is a feature of The Lone Ranger Incorporated, created and produced by George W. Trendle and directed by Charles D. Livingston. Tonight's story was written by Fran Stryker. The part of The Lone Ranger is played by Brace Beamer.